What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my first subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my con content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for sign for all signs. Capture your side, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Capture your side, everybody in between. Love to appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 12,175 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support of the channel. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share my channel very publicly, social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Single mom and two kids, so it helps support a single mom, a two kids, and one of her income streams. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys so much. Okay, so I received another channeling. They're just flying in today. Um, I'm about to go exercising after this. Um, I'm serious. Uh, I don't have my kids this weekend. Let me see. Yeah, I don't have them this weekend. I'm actually probably going to go out of town, um, to be honest. About to go out of town, go exercising, and get the hell out of this toxic ass city. And that's just the truth. But um, I'll, I'll, I might take my cards. I well, I may not. I think I'm going to take a break for a little bit. Um, but, uh, but I'll deliver this one and then. Um, I might, I might take this stuff. I might, because if I get one, I'll download it. So I might take this stuff. Um, but I'm definitely getting out of this toxic ass city. That's for damn sure. Just saying, just saying. Okay. So the channel message I heard is betrayals are about to come soon and quickly from people um, they would have never expected. Very soon, huge negative power moments coming for many people. Very soon, low vibrational beings. And I heard specifically low vibrational beings, so people that don't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, or integrity. So if you are a high vibrational being and you do that to people, then I, I don't think this is for you. I absolutely don't think so. I think it's for the people that lie, cheat, deceive, steal from people, um, um, that implant hidden cameras in people's homes to make money off them and create... Um, um, case studies on families through hidden cameras and things like that. Um, and I'm just being real because that's the most evil of the evil that somebody could do. And that's just the truth. Um, people that abuse people in nursing homes and medical malpractice lawsuits like we just pulling in. I mean, the towers are about to come and they're about to come strong and hard and fast. And I'm just being for real. People that try to block people's monies, uh, money intentionally by closing, by getting them uh, terminated out of companies so they will be closed out of the entire damn company so they can't even move to go um, to another facility. Those kind of low vibrational people is what I'm saying. So you plug it in how it resonates. So towers are coming soon and quick, soon and quickly. Um, betrayals coming. These people are about to experience betrayals from all ends soon and quickly. Huge negative tower moments and um, um, it sounds like what's coming to the dark is um, what is done in the dark is coming to the light. You plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have collected. Knight of Cups. Spirit messages you have collected. Will of Fortune reversed, Two of Swords upright, Four of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Pentacles upright. Someone wanted you to get no support. And that's exactly what they're doing. However, through many series of chain of events, you're highly intuitive and you're about to leave these people out in the cold. And they're, some of them are going, going to try to convince you to stay. It would not be smart to stay. You are about to get huge help soon. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So 
If this resonates for you, somebody doesn't want you to get support. I don't think you're the low vibrational people that are about to experience betrayals from their low vibrational ass people they hang around, their frenzies. I don't have friends. I haven't had friends for a long ass time. I'm a grown ass woman. I'm 38. And I've raised kids by myself for a long ass time. So I don't have friends. I never have had friends. Um, I haven't spoken to my toxic ass family in a long ass time since my older sister basically accused me of child abuse years ago. So I don't speak to any toxic ass family. I don't have friends and I haven't for a long ass time. But I feel for some of these low vibrational people, they have friends. They have connections. They have frenzies. They have referral friends. Blah, 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 blah. But however that resonates, um, they're about to get betrayed by them because they're very low vibrational. They they are liars, cheaters, thieves. Um, I feel for some they might be swingers or um, something like that um, or do drugs or party, party, party or what have you. I heard they didn't want you to have any support, any support. But basically, um, through many series of shame and events, you're about to get support. Whoever you are, you're planning on moving. You're planning on moving, I think, physical locations outside of your toxic community, location, site, etc., 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 whoever you are. But they don't want you to get support. I think they're intentionally isolating you uh, for intentional reasons because I think they know you know too much and they don't want you to speak on it. It's exactly what it is, is it whoever you are. And I'm serious about that. But I heard you will get support through many series of chain events. You will. Uh, I think it sounds like you're planning on moving. Um, I know for me, I can't speak with anybody else. I know it sounds like one of you guys, you're planning on moving soon too. I understand because I've been there. Y'all know that. I've been wrongfully terminated in my city four fucking times. Four times. It's really fucking ridiculous. These people are fucking whack. And I, I mean, I'm not saying that lightly. I mean it. Um, but um, however that resonates, I heard you are about to get help. Um, and some of these people are going to try to convince you to stay. So they abused you, harmed you, intentionally isolated you for some. But then they're going to try to convince you to stay. Hey, yeah, I abused you mentally, physically, financially, sexually, um, whatever, whatever, spiritually, what have you, what have you. But now I want you to stay. What? That makes no fucking sense. No sense. Not at all. Um, these people are mentally disturbed, and I'm serious about that. Whoever these people are, whoever you're dealing with, they really are. Because if you go around harming somebody any kind of way, mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, what have you, what have you, and then you try to convince them to stay after they know, free willingly know they've done this to you, and now they want you to stay, that makes no fucking sense. Um, you should block your energy from them and move the hell on, which it sounds like that's what you're about to do. The choice you're about to make, whoever you are. Um, kudos to you, whoever you are. Someone these people would have never expected to help you is about to help you. And they're going to be so pissed. And they will be stuck in their own misery. Someone, these people would have never expected to help you. It's about to help you. And basically, um, I heard they're going to be stuck in their own misery. And it sounds like you'll be free to go. You'll be free to move, um, whoever you are. And I understand that. I know for me, I know I want to, um, my plans is to get my kids back. I have a court date in July. Get my, get my kids back because I haven't done anything to have them taken away. Get my kids back. Um, revamp my home. Like. Um, not redecorate it, but um, re uh, like I've already got new appliances. Um, but like I need to knock out a wall, do some sheet rock, sheet rock work. Um, basically, re um, not redecorate, but re what's it called? Re innovate, um, renovate, renovate my home, renovate my home. Um, there's a couple walls that need some sheet rock and um, and things like that. You know, uh, minor stuff. It's nothing major, but um, some minor renovations. And then rent my home out, and then I'm fucking moving. And I'm being for real. I'm serious. I'm about to fucking move, and I'm going to rent my home out and then move. But I want to do my renovations first. It's a very nice little cute little home, but um, and I'm not selling it. 
I've already gotten calls for me. I've gotten about six calls in the past week and flyers in my mailbox. Oh, are you looking to fast class sell your home? Are you looking to sell your home? Are you looking to sell your home? No, I'm not looking to fucking sell my home. Why are you calling me? I had like six calls last week. Six. From several different real estate agencies. I wonder how they knew. Just saying, just saying. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. I heard someone's getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. Um, people love to gossip. They love to talk, but they don't like to do the right thing. They don't like to advocate for people when they really need it. And whoever this person is, they are really about to do the right thing. They're they're about to advocate for you. They're about to stand up for you. They're about to help you in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard people didn't want you to get this help. They wanted you to be isolated because they know what they did to you. Because they know what the hell they did to you. That's why. They don't want you to speak on it. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to move on. They want to keep abusing you. The energy is about to completely shift in a huge ass way. The energy is about to completely shift in a huge ass way. So we have King of Cups upright, Wheel of Fortune reverse, Two of Swords upright, Four of Pentacles reverse, Eight of Pentacles upright. So I think this is the person that's about to help you that these people don't want you um, to get help from. Uh, it could be a water sign or anybody taking on the water sign energy, Knight of Cups upright, um, giving, loving, and kind. I think it will be for, with information or physical help or money or something. Um, they're coming in as a knight, though, so they might be younger, hopefully not mentally immature. They a little. It concerns me a little bit because they're coming in as a knight. Uh, nobody wants a damn knight in their life. Um, I sure as hell don't, and that's just the truth. So, um, but that might be just quick movement they're coming in, too. Uh, Maybe they're coming up as a night energetic space because they're coming in quickly is what I'm feeling. Maybe for some of them. Um, they know you've been stuck. They know your will of fortune stuck. They're about to make a decision. Um, they, uh, it looks like they're a big ass spender. Four pinnacles reverse. They uh, it looks like they're a big ass spender. Maybe they're going to give you money. We got four pinnacles reverse with the eight of pinnacles upright. For some, they might give you money is what I'm feeling. There's a four of pentacles reverse with the eight of pentacles upright. So I think they might give you money or they might give you something um, work, um, that, of value is what I'm thinking. However that resonates. Maybe for some it's money they stole from you. And that's kind of what I'm feeling for some. Do you plug it in how it resonates? Someone's predictions have been coming true and coming true very strongly in someone's life. Through many series of chain events, this person is about to donate to this reader. Where the where they have uh, the predictions have really, really been coming true. A very, 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 very nice donation. It's about to help out in a huge way. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So um some okay, so you could I feel for one year, this reader, for some, you could be somebody, for some, you could be the one about to donate to this reader. For some, you could be someone connected to this reader or the person about to donate to the reader. How that resonates? You have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you do fit, we have 13,175 subscribers on here. Um, so you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But somebody has been watching a reader and their predictions. So I think they're a prophet. I think they're in psychic and a prophet. Their predictions have been coming true. And it sounds like coming true quite often in their life. Like, it sounds like a lot of them. Um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. I heard you're about to donate uh, a pretty hefty donation to this reader. Um, because you know they have basically been coming true. Um, pretty heftily in your life. So you've been utilizing the psychic services. I think they do it online like me. Is what I think, feel. For some it could be home readers. But I don't, I don't feel it is. I don't feel it is. Because home readers, you'd have to pay for their services to come in for them to give you a reading. I think it's an online platform where we get the money. Um, we get the AdSense behind the scenes, which, by the way, isn't that much. Just saying, just saying. But, um, but yeah, I think it's an online public platform where you, we get the AdSense behind the scenes is what I think. Um, but I heard whoever you are, the, they've been coming true quite frequently. Um, and you're about to pay it forward to the reader. Because you know 
uh, whoever you are, you know this person is the real deal. You know they're the real deal because they have been coming true. Um, and it, whoever you are, it's a large donation. So it's not, I don't feel it's like 10 bucks, 5 bucks, 20 bucks. I, I, a hefty donation is what I'm feeling. Uh, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. That's beautiful. Six of cups reversed, the devil reversed, the hermit upright. Someone is about to cut off all toxic connections from their past and move physical locations. Move. Someone's about to cut off all toxic connections from their past and move physical locations. Move is what I heard. So um, kudos to you, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Um, that's what I'm about to do. Um, that's what I'm about to do. And I'm serious. I didn't have any toxic connections personally, though, for me. I didn't have toxic connections personally. I keep my ex-husband at a healthy distance. I always have. Um, I don't have friends. Like I told you guys, I don't have friends in the 3D. I have kids, and that's it. Um, but I love my kids. Um, and I raised them by myself for a long time. Um, so I didn't have unhealthy people in my life. And that's just the truth because I set clear boundaries with coworkers. I set clear boundaries with people in my past. Um, I don't have nobody come up hanging around my ass. But whoever you are, you did or you do. Um, and it was specifically people in your past. Six of Cups reversed. Um, hold on a second. But I heard you're about to cut them off and you're about to move. Okay, sorry, it's my neighbor mowing. You're about to cut them off and you're about to move. And absolutely. Um, whoever you are, that I'm about to do that, except I didn't have toxic people in my past I was hanging around with. Um, I just had nasty ass coworkers that like to be malicious and secretly compete. Um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am, so you're about to move on. You're about to cut off the toxic connections with the devil reversed and the six of cups reversed. You're about to leave your past behind, six of cups reversed. You have went within yourself, hermit upright. You have reflected done some deep thought, meditation, reflection, and you're about to make the decision, it sounds like, soon, and you're about to move. And whoever you are, I think it's about to cause negative tower moments for um, people. I think it's about to cause negative tower moments for people of your past. Um, and that might cause betrayals, too. You are about to be a power play mover in your own life, whoever this resonates for, for sir or ma'am. You're about to be a power play mover in your own life. And it's about to cause tower moments for other people. Um, but you aren't the one causing the tower moments. They're going to cause their own tower moments, basically. They're going to do it to their own self. For some, you could be a Capricorn or you could be a Virgo, is what I'm feeling, because we have Capricorn and Virgo energy. Or you could be cutting off a Capricorn or a Virgo. How that resonates and applies in one's life, whoever you are. Caps, Virgo, or dealing with a Caps or a Virgo or any other sign. Okay? Um, I don't blame you. Sometimes uh, freshening up the energetic space and moving is the best thing. And like I said, I would have moved a long time ago if I'd had the money to do it. That's the whole reason I was working at the hospital when I got, um, when I got hired in in January. That's the whole reason I was working there was to save up and move um, um, and to renovate my home, which, like I said, I've got three of the appliances and I got my, fix, my sink fixed because there was a huge ass um, um, clog in my drug. Uh, what did the plumber call it? J tube, the little curvy tube on the bottom. Um, but all that's fixed now. So um, I just got to get a few more renovations done um, in my home. And then I'm going to fix it up and sell it. I not sell it, sorry, not sell it, rent it. And then I'm moving. Um, so absolutely, whoever you are. It is about to cause huge chaos in these people's lives. It is about to cause huge chaos in these people's lives. It is about to cause huge chaos in these people's lives when you move, whoever you are. Um, sir, ma'am, 
Um, I don't blame you. Um, that's exactly what I would do too. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Um, whoever you are, I think you're dealing with trickster energy. And I'm just being for real. I think you were dealing with trickster energy. Um, I didn't hear you were, but I feel you were. And I think you know this, or you're about to pick up on it, and you're about to just move the hell on um, to calmer, greener pastures, which is what I'm going to do when I win my kids back. And Aquarius is getting a huge ass wake up call. An Aquarius is getting a huge ass wake up call. So um, whoever you are, Aquarius, uh, maybe you're the one about to do this or uh, or maybe you're one that's going to get a tower. I'm not sure. Um, whoever you are, Aquarius, you could have Aquarius in your semi rising Venus, or the Midheim energy for charts. Um, you know, people can feel when they're not wanted in a city. And I can only speak from my personal experience because I'm only me. But I know when I'm not wanted in a city. When you're wrongfully terminated four times, you're obviously not wanted in a city. And that's just the truth. You're obviously having your money blocked for a specific reason. And obviously people don't want you in their city. So that's why I moved. Now, whoever you are, I think you know these. you're either not wanted as well or you are... Uh, you just know these people are toxic for you. However that resonates. However that resonates. Okay. I'm going to pull uh, Earth Magic. One of these people is about to be pulled over soon. Open container in their vehicle. One, drugs in their vehicle. Will not be pulled over for that. Will be pulled over for something else. Oh my God, I heard one of these people is about to be pulled over soon. One, an open container in their vehicle. One, um, drugs in their vehicle. And, but they will not be pulled over for that. So that's going to be a tower moment for one of these people. We got breach with the vulnerability. Their ass is about to be exposed. That's exposure all day long. They're, it's about to be breached. And they're about to be vulnerable because they're, um, there's about to be open container found in their vehicle or drugs. How that resonates. So um, they're about to be exposed. Whoever they are and how they apply. Um, so that's a way one of these tower moments is about to come for one of these people. Um, it's not you, person that's about to move far locations. It's somebody else, whoever you are and how this applies. Um, someone that wanted to be a queen of a city and a queen of a family, they are about to get a bitch slap of reality. Their true star is about to shine in many series of chain of events. Queen of a city and queen of a family? This person sounds like a damn dominatrix if you ask me. Oh my god. Queen of a city and queen of a family? This Person sounds like a damn dominatrix. It's a femme energy. Um, she has control issues, I'll tell you that. She sounds like a dominatrix, and I'm just being serious. She sounds like a freaking dominatrix. Um, I didn't hear she was, but she sounds like it. Because she, she has such control issues. She wants to be queen of the city? Queen of a city? We live in a democracy, ma'am. Not a communism. Uh, not over there in England. Uh, not in... Uh, you know, we don't have kings and queens over here. Just saying, just saying. And we definitely are, are, don't live in communist communist China. We live in uh, democracy. It's supposed to be a free world. Just saying, just saying. Whoever you are, want to be queen of the city, ma'am. Um, you're a femme energy and a queen of a family. So, I, I mean, of course, I'm the queen of my family, but I'm a single mother. I had a household of two kids. Um but I've always taught my kids independence and freedom to make their own decisions and choices and freedom to be themselves. So I don't like to dominate my kids. 
never have. I've always taught them freedom of expression of themselves and um, freedom to be themselves um, within normal scope, within normal scope. Now, I don't want them going out acting crazy in public because I don't want them to get in trouble. Uh, there is a line. But um, whoever this person is, they have severe control issues. Uh, I heard they're about to be exposed and the true star is about to shine soon. So um, I think you true star energy, you're the one about to move far away because you realize you're in such a, such a toxic ass community. And I'm serious. Breach and vulnerability of this wannabe dominatrixy control as type femme energy. Whoever she is in your life. Heard she wants to, wants to be a queen, the queen of the city and queen of her family. What? Like what? She is about to start experiencing huge, 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 huge sour moments. Huge sour moments. Fem water sign and fem air sign. Very low vibrational. She's about to start experiencing huge, huge, huge tower moments. Fem water sign and fem air sign. So they're low vibrational fem water signs and fem air signs. Um, so if it's, I don't think it's you guys. I think it's somebody you're connected to or somebody you know. Um, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or um, Aries. I'm uh, not Aries. Um, Sorry, not Aries. Um, you could be an Aries, possibly. I don't know why I said Aries. I didn't hear Aries. Or um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Hammer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, sir or ma'am. Uh, well, it's ma'am. Low vibrational. Low vibrational. Um, Queen of the city? What? Like, that's not right. That's not right. Whoever these people are, um, they're, I think their ass is about to be called out or somebody is about to report them in some shape, form, or fashion. That's exactly what I feel. I think one of you guys is about to report them or you're about to speak up on this. Um, I think they have used control tactics on you or somebody you're connected to. I think blackmail or control tactics or something and you are about to use the power of your voice and the power of yourself and power of your inner person one, you're about to move. One, this could actually physically be reporting energy. How did that resonate? One, it is reporting. Official reporting. One, you're about to quit your job. Asked to do something very unethical. One, it is physical reporting. One, it is you're about to be asked to do your job. Um, um, you're about to do something. Asked to be do something very unethical in your job. Whoever you are, sir, ma'am. So that is your power, your people. Um, you're about to refuse to do whatever you're asked to be done in your job. Um, and you're about to quit. You're about to quit. And I think you're about to move. And I don't blame you. Like I said, as soon as I win custody of my kids back, I'm about to do the same thing. Um, you got to do what's best for you. Um, absolutely. And um, sir, ma'am, you're high vibrational if that resonates for you. Um, and one, it's official reporting. So that could be to state police, local police, feds, or um, or um, child protective services, or some, some kind of official reporting energy. It could be to the ombuds, ombuds, I can't speak, ombudsman I've been pulling in because we're about to, there's about to be a lot of lawsuits in skilled nursing facilities for abuse and a lot of lawsuits because somebody's building a case for their family member through hitting cameras in their, um, in their um, family member's um, um, room, which that is legal. They can do that because it's their room. Uh, building a case against the workers at the facility. Um, and one is about to. So it could be that. Uh, maybe contacting the ombudsman um, regarding a case. Um, or 
It could be regarding the hidden camera that was in a family's uh, house in the past that a city was trying to cover up so badly or anything else. Um, whoever you're going to breach it and report it to or quit your job because you're asked to be do something very unethical. One, you're a news reporter. One, you're a nurse. One, you're a CNA. One, you're a news reporter. One, you're a nurse. One, you're a CNA. One, you're a lawyer. One, you're a judge. One, you're a lawyer. One, you're a judge. Oh, my God. One, you're a stay-at-home parent. One, you're a stay-at-home parent. One, you are a part of a construction crew. One, you work at a restaurant. One, you are a part of a construction crew. And one, you work at a restaurant. So um, you plug it in how it resonates a lot of reporting energy now like i said i don't know who you're reporting this to it could be maybe you're calling the news maybe you're calling um um uh, maybe you're calling the news maybe you're calling the child protective services maybe you're calling the police maybe you're calling feds maybe you're calling the state ombudsman um regarding the abuse of the resident or um or medical malpractice in um, a hospital um I'm not sure who you're reporting it to. You could report it to a million different things to a million different people. So whatever it is you're about to report and breach, okay? Um, but for some, I think it's breaching. There's a lot going on in here. So whoever you're reporting and breaching on, but there are definitely two fem, low vibrational fem energies in a city. I heard that want to be queen of the damn city and queen of their family. Um, it should be 50-50. Like, I'm different because I'm head of household. I'm a single woman. I've been a single mo woman a long ass time. But whoever these people are, I think they're either have control issues and they're single or they are uh, married or in a relationship and they just want control of the family, which I've met a, bit, a lot of controlling them energy. And that's just the truth. And that's another reason why I don't have friends. And that's the truth. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Vulnerability. Low vibrational Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Vulnerability. It is about to expose their ass in a huge way. It is about to expose their ass in a huge way is what I heard. So vulnerability is about to make them very vulnerable because their ass is about to be exposed in a huge way, if that resonates for you. Um, but it's because you guys are about to take your own personal power back and you're about to claim, reclaim your power and take your, take your energy elsewhere because you're not being appreciated. For some, you're basically being blackballed and or about to be blackballed and blackmailed to do something very unethical in your damn workplace. No, nay, nay. Nay, freaking nay, man. No, no. That's a big ass nay, nay for me. And that's just the truth. Um, but you, I mean, of course, you have your own personal choice to make, but it happens all the time. Trust me, it happens all the time. Um, like, I'll give you an example. I currently don't have my kids right now. I'm in the middle of a custody battle per the McClendon standard. But when I worked at a skilled nursing facility, literally right down the street from me, about two or three minutes from me right now, um, I worked there in November, PRN. Um, I don't work there anymore. They phased me out, but I was just PRN. People bringing kids up in there, their own children in there, were not supposed to have children in there, like your own kids when you're working, bringing their own kids up in there so they could work. Now, I didn't say anything, but it really upset me because knowing that I don't even have my kids right now, and I have never done anything like that. And I've known many nurses and CNAs 
that have done that in many facilities in this city in the past that I have been fired from, wrongfully terminated from, but yet they were never wrongfully terminated. They could quit and they could transfer on and they've moved cities since then. So you tell me how that's right because it's not. It's not. People break all the rules all the fucking time and then they're like, oh, but you have to follow the rules, which I do follow the rules. I don't mind following the rules, but it's those same hypocrites. Oh, you got to follow the rules. Oh, you got to follow the rules. Oh, you got to follow the rules. But then, yet, they deal with people that don't follow the rules and they don't reprimand them. Um, you tell me how that's fair because it's not. It's not. If anybody needs to hear that. That's just one example. That's just one example. There's many examples I could give you, but that's one. Now, like I said, I didn't report those people for bringing those kids in there because I know they were there. I mean, they were... They were there to work. They did a good job working. I didn't have any beef or drama with those people because they did a good job. And they were all—they were African American females, single females. Well, one was in a relationship, just dating, and one was single. One was an artist, and one was a CNA. I didn't have any problems with them, but yet I cannot bring my kids anywhere as a nurse when I work. Period. Point blank. I have to find childcare for them. You tell me how that's fair, because it's not. Period, point blank, bar none. Because it's not. It's unfair and it's unethical, is what it is. Little food for thought if anybody needs to hear that. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. I'm serious. It's not fair. It's not fair. Someone that sold a home that they should not have sold, false documentation, they're about to be contacted back soon. They're about to they're about to have to go to the court of law. Did not follow the proper procedures. Someone that sold a home and they wasn't supposed to, not proper documentation, um, they're about to be called back soon. They're about to have to go into the court of law. Um, because the proper procedures were not followed. False POA. False POA is what I heard. False POA. So false power of attorney. So they had a false power of attorney and that's how they sold the home. Um, but soon they're about to get a uh, phone call. They're about to get a phone call back. Um, it is going to be serious legal issues for them. Serious. They will not win. It is going to be serious legal issues for them. Serious, they will not win. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well, they shouldn't win. And that could be the breach and the vulnerability to the phone call energy coming um, because they had a false POA um, and that's how they sold the home. So they forged somebody's signature or had somebody forge somebody's signature on a false POA form. But um Somebody knows it was a false POA. Maybe it's you about to give them this phone call. I feel for some, it might be you about to give them this phone call um, because you know it was a false POA. I feel for some. Um, it is about to create many negative series of chain of events for them. It's about to create many negative series of chain of events for them. So you plug it in, how it resonates. It's about to create many negative series of chain of events for them. Well, they shouldn't have done that. They shouldn't have had a false POA, forged a signature, or had somebody forged my signature. Um, POAs, I think, have to be notarized. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I've never had a POA. Uh, to my knowledge, you guys had said they need to be notarized. So whoever notarized it should be um, should get in trouble too. And I just want to be for real, for real. If you have to have a POA notarized, which I've never had a POA, but if you have to have a POA notarized, the person that notarized it should be in trouble too. Um, and I'm just being for real. People are about to go down for this that they would have never expected. It is about to be a huge ass thing. People are about to go down that would have never expected. It's about to be a huge ass thing. People's careers are about to tank into the ground. About to lose licensures and certifications. They should. People's careers are about to tank into the ground. They're about to lose licensures and certifications, and they should. 
So, for example, if you have to have a POA notarized, which I y'all said you do, I've never had a POA, so I don't know. But if you do, the person that notarized that shit should go down too, and the person that sold the home with the false POA should go down too. I mean, everybody should. But how that resonates, I'm just using that as an example. But uh, I feel one of you guys, you're you know this, you're on to them, and you're about to make the phone call. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. You're about to be a hero. Know this. You're about to be a hero. Know this. So one of you guys is a hero in this. One, you're a hero in this. And one, you're about to, because you're about to expose these people. You know they used a false POA. You know they did. And you're about to be a hero in this. Our people are about to lose their licensures and certifications, but in all fairness, they should. Um, through many series of chain of events, huge investigations are coming. Huge, 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 huge. Through many series of chain of events, of events, huge investigations are coming, huge, 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 huge. So some kind of huge investigations are coming. I think you guys are about to be power play movers and about to cause them because you know there has been some kind of false POA energy, false selling of home or homes energy with a false POA. Somebody notarized this shit and they shouldn't have notarized it, I'll tell you that. Um, and a whole slethra and uh, I'm sorry, plethora and snowball effect of shit about to go down. Um, and one of you guys is about to move. One of you guys is about to refuse to um, do something unethical in the workplace, and you're about to move. Um, I hope you expose their ass very publicly that they tried to get you to do something unethical. Um, because, you know, we should all have power of our voices, power of people, power of, of, of our voices, um, and personal power. If you don't speak up about it, it's not going to create change. And yes, I've been speaking, speaking, speaking on this for years, but that's why I'm about to physically move after I win custody back of my kids. Because people down here don't like to listen. They like to the bend rules when it um, benefits them, and they don't like actually doing the right fucking thing. So that's why I'm about to move out of this toxic ass city, and that's just the truth. And that's the truth. Because I have followed the rules. I have done everything I was supposed to do. Period, point, blank, bar none. But there's people that bend the rules and don't follow the rules, and yet they get ahead. But yet their ass is about to be exposed. And that's just the truth. And it's think it's you guys about to do this. Many shocking series of shame events are about to occur with these situations soon. Many, 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 many phone calls are about to be made very soon. Many shocking series of time events are about to occur with these situations soon, and many phone calls are about to be made soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. If you don't come correct, don't come at all. That's the way I look at it. If you don't come correct, don't come at all. But these people like bin rules. They like to use false POAs. They like to sell homes. They can't even, uh, they ain't fucking supposed to be selling. I mean, that's sick shit. That's not correct. All right. I love you guys. Namaste.